Is it a good idea to varnish a clay flower pot after painting? A year ago, I primed one half of a terracotta flower pot with clear gesso, painted flowers on it, and then sealed one half of it using acrylic gloss varnish. So I got four different combinations of primed and unprimed, varnished and unvarnished. And then I left it outdoors for the whole summer, in the sun and in the rain, which is when you may have seen the last update on it. And then it spent the winter in the garage, which is cooler than room temperature, but not as cold as outside. And now it looks like this. Ignore the half-dead geranium, but I can't tell any clear difference between the primed and unprimed side, yet anyway, in one year. I don't see any paint chipping. I also can't tell a difference in how the varnished and unvarnished side paintings did, but I can tell another clear difference between those two sides. Now, I've never sealed terracotta flower pots before, but apparently you should seal them if you use them for plants that need more moisture, because water evaporates faster through the porous clay pots. But my pot went all stripy from the acrylic gloss varnish. The primed and unprimed sides that are varnished both have the same look, so the priming didn't seem to affect this. But it doesn't look good. So I'm thinking, is it because of the type of sealant I used? So I'm gonna test two other ways to seal a terracotta pot and see how they were outside. First, I'm cleaning the pot because it has been used before, and then I'm priming the whole outside of the pot with clear gesso and the rim and a little bit of the inside too. Letting it dry overnight and then doing the second layer and once that's dry, I'm painting flowers on both sides again. I'm using a ruler and a pencil to divide it in two parts and then painting a simple climbing plant with acrylics to cover that line using two different shades of green and a similar one for the other side. I wanted to keep the same color scheme from the last flower pot, so I'm painting pink flowers on either side. Trying to paint a lily this time. Mixing pink with crimson red and white, and I'm trying to make sure both sides have about the same thickness of paint layers, because last time the blue flower was a bit thinner with less layers. Simple shading for the petals, a few leaves peeking from underneath the flower, and the stamens and the carpel in the middle of the flower. And white highlights and edges for the petals to make sure the painting stands out from the terracotta background. I'm doing a peony on the other side, dark center part, and then painting the inner petals over it with light pink, and making the petals darker in each layer outwards. I like that I made this one bigger so that it feels more of the surface. The lily was a bit small. Some shading and a few leaves. This one really needs the white highlights because it's blending in the color of the clay. I'm letting the paintings dry overnight and then varnishing the next day. I'm comparing two more methods of sealing the painting. And I make sure to mark on the bottom with a paint marker which side is which. For one side, I'm using this Liquidex matte varnish that's non-removable, which means it's water-based, whereas the gloss varnish that is removable was probably mineral spirit-based. The smell is certainly different, I can tell. This Liquidex varnish actually has no smell, and when I used it to varnish other things before, it dried so fast I couldn't even tell which parts I had already varnished and which parts I hadn't. So I'm interested to see if this will wear differently than the Windsor & Newton gloss varnish. But for the other side, I'll just try a cheap mix of water and glue. One part general glue and one part water. My other thought was that maybe it was the method of sealing rather than what I was sealing it with. So I'll also try using a sponge brush for sealing both sides, just to see if that helps. The glue and water mix turned out very watery, and it's a little difficult. Maybe I added too much water. 
once it's actually spring because right now it's spring one week and then snowing again the next i'm gonna put this outdoors for the summer again with the other flower pot i painted a year ago and then in the garage for the winter and i'll update you on how the different sealing methods compared but what if you want more ideas on what to paint on clay flower pots watch this video next see you there